All right, and in this section, I want to go over logging into MyCI and checking out Google Docs. So first, we need to go to uh, csuci.edu, the university's webpage. Then we want to click on the MyCI link that you can see right here. So that will take us to our portal login. And from here, we'll enter our dolphin name and our password. Now, your dolphin name is your first last name followed by your three digits. Then enter your password. Now, I have kind of a long password, and we'll talk more about that in the computer security section. Also, I'm using a Mac, and I'm using the Safari browser. So we'll wait for this to load, um, and once that comes up, we'll have our links to Dolphin Email, CI Records, CI Docs, that sort of thing on the right. Normally, you'd also see CI Learn, but since I'm not, uh, or since the semester hasn't quite started yet, I don't have access. So for now, we're going to click on CI Docs, and once that comes up, that'll take us to its uh, Dolphin Pod, Google Docs. It's all the same thing. It's just called uh, different names. So from here, we can create files, uh, load them. We can create uh, documents, presentations, spreadsheets, forms, and drawings. In this uh, course, we're mostly going to focus on documents, presentations, and spreadsheets. Right, and over here, we have the settings where we can change the upload settings, um, where we can convert uh, files to Google Doc format and convert PDFs to text. This is pretty important and pretty handy. Um, if somebody gives you a PDF and you want to edit it or get it the content. Uh, also, it allows sort of a uniform experience. And I also like to keep the confirmed settings before each upload checked so I can decide when I upload how I want to handle that upload. Right, so now we're going to go ahead and create a new document. And to do that, we're going to click the Create button and then go to Document. Okay, once the document loads, go ahead and click up here where it says Untitled Document. This lets us rename it from Untitled Document to whatever we want. And this works the same whether you've renamed it or not. The name doesn't really matter. Um, now we can go ahead and click here in the main body to start typing. And this works just as you'd expect. You click in here and you can type whatever you'd like. It works just like any other word processor. Now, as I type, I'd like to go over a few keyboard shortcuts that we're going to be using here pretty quickly. Uh, first is Control A or Command A, and you use that to select all the text in a document. That's pretty handy if you know you have more than a few lines you want to select. The other thing I want to talk about is changing the font size and the font face. Uh, there are a couple little drop downs that we'll show here in a second. And in fact, I'm probably going to edit this video so we go straight to it so you don't have to watch me type. The other thing is this document is uh, going to be shared with you on Blackboard and it will be part of your homework assignment, but we'll go over that in more depth here in a little bit. So one way, as I said, to highlight everything is to click and drag, but that gets pretty cumbersome if you have more than a few lines to select. Because if you have a few pages or what have you, it gets pretty difficult. So one other way is to just press Control or Command A, and that will highlight everything, just like this. And that allows you to change the font or the font face of the entire document without having to drag, click and drag. So it's pretty useful. Again, that's Control A or Command A to select everything. Then we can pick a new font size from this drop down menu. Here we're going to pick 9, and that'll change the font size of the whole document. I'm going to put it back to 14 to make it a little bit easier to read. Now, I kind of want this document to be a little uncomfortable, so I'm going to change the font face from Times New Roman to something like, say, Comic Sans, because, well, it's going to be a homework assignment to put this document back to a more presentable state. The next thing I want to go over is inserting a table into the document. This can be pretty handy for organizing data or something similar. So we'll click table and insert table. And here we can decide how many cells or how many rows and columns we want to put into the document. You may have seen things similar to this in spreadsheets, which we'll cover in more depth next week. We'll also get into tables more, but for now, I just want to show you inserting a table. And so, for this, we want it as a display of days of the week. So we want to pick a 7 by 2 table. And this way, we can have days of the week on top and hours on the bottom. You'll see why in a little bit. It's basically for picking office hours. And that's part of the homework assignment. So now, the table works just like the rest of the document. You can type in these cells. 
And we're going to go ahead and start putting the days of the week in here. Now navigating from one cell to the next is pretty easy. You don't actually have to click from one to the next like this. You can actually use the tab key to move from one to the next. That way as you're typing you don't have to sort of break your concentration to move to the next one over. Now one thing that's kind of fun if you press shift tab it'll go backwards so you can sort of do a lot of work without ever having to remove your hands from the keyboard. Now in a spreadsheet uh, if you press enter it will take you down a cell but since this is mostly focusing on word doc word editing um, it will actually move you down in the cell so that's good to know to actually move down a cell you pretty much have to click into it but that's just something to keep in mind